So, we're back. Hello again to another Let's Play of Darky. This time we're going to play Max Payne 2. The Fall of Max Payne with the Pip Boy mod. One of the best Max Payne, mod Max Payne 2 mods ever and it changes your looks. Along with a lot of other things I'm going to show you along the way. Let's see, so basically the story is we woke up in a hospital, uh, we've been, I don't know, maybe shot, stabbed, whatever. At least we're bleeding, that's what I know, and we were in intensive treatment. Uh -oh. there? And who what the fuck the puts the bin next to the door? Every time you open the door, bin's gonna... Ah, well, physics! They just want you to show off. Ah, oh, get out of my head! What are you Oh yeah, Mona. <laughs> Definitely one of my dream women. I mean, she carries around Desert Eagle everywhere she goes. So that's definitely a plus. Head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer, answer should be. be call it denial. denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Which pain? The max pain? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not even gonna finish that. So, uh, yeah, let's see if someone's at the reception here. Hey! Hello! Intensive care unit. I I'll get the phone. Fuck. Uh, detective she? Huh? I'm a he. Or is there another detective here? I don't know. At least I'm pretending not to know, so that's not to spoil it for you guys. So, <laughs> of course I know the story. I played this game to the max. Oh God, no! That that wasn't even supposed to be a bad pun. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna stop it now. Let's see what's in here. Oh, buddy. Shit. Max, better get your gun out. Yep. He did. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD. Found him. You sure? You're gonna deal with me? I'm gonna bullet time jump you. <laughs> Fuck your arm. Oh, yeah, that's that's another common thing. Uh, sometimes when the guys die, they drop like uh, two weapons. The weapon they actually drop and the weapon they are still holding in their hands. Um, because sometimes when they fall over in, during ragdoll, um, they're still shooting. Which can be son of a bitch to handle um, if you're not paying attention. Again, too much LSD, Max. Too much LSD. Mona. She's here to kill me. Back off, Payne. Winterson. What? Who the fuck? Dude, seriously, stop taking so many psychoactive substance substances. Not good for your head. Nice little detail. This thing's falling over. Oh, uh, anything interesting in here? Nope. I know that. Painkillers in one of these, but ah, I don't really care. Don't need them anyway. I'm a tough guy. America. So everything's closed here. Let's see. Oh, durable mattress. Nah, gonna stick with that one. Let's watch some t TV, shall we? Ah, oh, God, yeah, I remember that one. Mira's men pretended to be hospital wardens. Yep, enough. Okay, let's get this shit going. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go up, down, up, down, down. I'll go down. Was my plan all along? I mean, fuck. I'm ex pain. Ah. Bravura. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. 
Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. You can't what? Bravura! I've only known you for five seconds. Ouch! I got hit right Bullshit. there. Yeah, that's right. Bullshit. You get hit, you die. I get hit, I'm still standing. Bullshit. Three max already. Dude, learn how to aim. Seriously, learn how to aim. Oh, no, 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 no. They were after me. Fucking asshole. You can't run from your past. No. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. Oh yeah, some serious wisecracking going on here. Typical Max, rambling, philosophizing, dark hero stuff. Anti-hero stuff. I don't like life. I hate life. It's so hard on me. Yet still, you're getting the hottest poontang in the whole fucking world, and you're complaining. That's not... Come on, open sesame. Yeah. Winterson! I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. Oh, I tried to edit I out a lot of stuff too, Max. Are you doing Let's Plays? No. no. Anyways. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. What, you tricked me? choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. I'll drink to that. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend. Cheers, Instead guys. Instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units. Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid. But I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. Nice. Just like a proper policeman should do. Oh, elevator doors. Pretty small level, isn't it? Just one elevator doors. One elevator doors, yeah. Makes sense. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done. You masochist. But Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. Oh, yeah. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. Max! Connected to organized crime. Dearest of all my we friends. A while. My brother's caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. So let's see what's going on here. You had some shots fired. Probably some dead people, I'd guess. But, well, it's just me. No guns for killing, and if they're fired, then. Ah, well, whatever. Yep. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10 4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. Yes, we are. Fuck yeah. I do everything on my own. I'm a solo cop. I don't need your fucking backup. Pussies. Because I know a secret. Let's see here. Painkiller and a Beretta. That's nice. I'm still gonna stick with the single one uh, because uh, the dual wielding one, uh, if you if you dual wield them, it's uh, you you don't get that many shots no off. You don't have a high rate, rate higher rate of fire with that. Road. Off the rear view mirror in the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Wow. Looks like Godzilla took a bite out of this. 
Godzilla took a bite out of Optimus Prime. Black Scott of Microf took a bite out of Crime and then check and oh, whatever. Let's do this! Fuck! Die, you scumbag! Wait! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I see what you did there, Rockstar. Motherfuckers! Oops! That was my bullet time, by the way. Um, yeah. Uh, just let me explain a few things. Uh, with this mod, I have unlimited bullet time. Um, I know that's a bit like cheating, but I'm not going to abuse it. I'm going to just use it on awesome things, you know because it's not really a challenge playing through this game and I bet there are a lot of people out there on YouTube who've already played through it. Uh, another thing that I would like to point out is uh, for all of those wondering where my crosshair is, um, I don't have one. Then there were some people saying, uh, yeah, you don't have a cross uh, crosshair, maybe you have something like auto-aim. Nope, no auto-aiming, no auto-weapon change and no bullet time aid. So, um, yeah, I'm playing on my own, without the crosshair. Oh! NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy, just cleaning the place. Come on officer, it's all legit, I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no, oh wait, <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there, move. Sure officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. Don't you make a funny move. Clean up that mess, brains and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. The guts. Oh, yeah. Be happy with what I'm you saying. get, motherfucker. Don't really trust this guy because he has a headset and all that kind of crap, and he's a cleaner. Yeah, uh, okay, I guess in a big building you gotta keep contact, keep in contact After with your guys, you guys, but you don't look too trustworthy. I'm gonna save it here. Um, and I think he said after you, detective. That's another sign of whatever. Let's do this. Okay, everyone in here. Okay. Hey, dude. You coming? Hi. Hello. Come on. Let's go. Oh, detective. I've got something for you. You've got something for me. I've got something for you, too. Lead. Dumb son of a bitch. I'm a dumb son of a bitch, says the dumb son, son of a bitch. I think there's still one more. You little shit. Motherfuckers. The perps were masquerading as cleaners. 